here is your latest African news. Africa wide. Ivory Coast 2023 AFCON postponed to 2024 over weather concerns. The 34th edition of AFCON, initially scheduled for June to July next year in Ivory Coast, will finally take place between January and February 2024. The Confederation of African Football CAF President Patrice Mosepe confirmed the postponement on July 3rd in the margins of the CAF Executive Committee meeting in Rabat. Since CAF's decision to align itself with European calendars, this is the second time the AFCON is rescheduled at the beginning of the year. The decision was motivated this time by weather concerns. The Ivorian Metrological Agency, Sodism, predicted heavy rainfalls in many parts of the country where the stadium is located. Ivory Coast has a tropical climate and June is the height of the rainy season. Severe flooding caused by very heavy rains killed at least five people in Abidjan, the capital, last month. Many observers were surprised that a football competition would be scheduled in the country during the rainy season. CAR – Central African Republic launches Bitcoin Hub Central African Republic's President Fosson Ashange Touadera on July 3rd officially launched the country's crypto initiative dubbed the Sango Project. This is CAR's first ever crypto project and is aimed at reshaping the country's financial system. In a press release, the Sango initiative was referred to as a catalyst for the tokenization of the country's vast natural resources, calling it the most progressive initiative in Africa and anywhere else. The Sango Initiative is the country's attempt at tapping into the wealth of blockchain technology and Web3 in a bid to foster innovation and better improve its economic situation, especially at a time when inflation is growing at an alarming rate. The project comes with three objectives, which include building the world's first legal crypto hub in the Central African Republic, taking the Bitcoin legacy to the next level, and establishing a Sango island with metaverse features. West Africa ECOWAS lifts Mali sanctions and agrees on Burkina Faso's transition. West African leaders attending a regional summit agreed on July 3rd to lift sanctions on Mali and Burkina Faso, two neighbors led by military governments. Speaking in Accra, Jean-Claude Cassibru, ECOWAS Commission President, said the head of state had reached an agreement with Bamako, which has promised a return to democratic rule. The 15-nation regional bloc lifted the six months long embargo imposed on Mali. In addition to that, the presidents also decided that the sanctions taken in terms of recalling the ambassadors of ECOWAS members' countries would be removed so the ambassadors will be able to return to Bamako. ECOWAS in January had imposed a trade and financial embargo on Mali after its military government unveiled a scheme to rule for five years. The consensus between Mali and ECOWAS reached plans that Mali will hold presidential elections in February 2024. Burkina Faso, another Sahel country caught up in jihadist turmoil, had so far only been suspended from the bodies of the 15-nation bloc. Burkina's military government proposed a constitutional referendum in December 2024 and legislative and presidential elections in February 2025, which was approved. The West African leaders also met in Ghana to review sanctions imposed on Guinea and no progress was made. ECOWAS Commission President pointed at Conakry's proposal of a 36-month transition period. The bloc named a new mediator, Benin's former president, Yai Boni, and expected to receive a new timetable for the elections by the end of the month. Sierra Leone Sierra Leone launches re-denominated currency to strengthen its value. Sierra Leone is launching a re-denominated currency, knocking three zeros off banknotes but keeping their value unchanged, its central bank has said. Financial transactions with the West African country have been suspended since June 28th in preparation for the recalibration of the Leon currency. Authorities have said the change will make it easier to carry cash and use it for payments. It also comes amid efforts to strengthen the tumbling Leon, which is now fluctuating at about 13,000 to the dollar. 
The denominations of Sierra Leone's banknotes are currently 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, and 10,000 Leon. Somalia. Somalia authorizes the first foreign banks in decades. Somalia announced on July 3rd that it has granted a banking license to two foreign institutions opening the country to foreign investment for the first time in decades. The Egyptian bank Bank Misr and the Turkish bank Zirat Katilim thus became the first foreign banks to be allowed to operate in Somalia, the Somalia Central Bank said in a statement. The country of 15 million people has at least half a dozen commercial banks, some of which offer services through Hawala, an informal network of over-the-counter money transfers. Hawala is a low-cost system that allows deposits made at a foreign bank to be instantly credited to recipients who need only provide basic identification information matching that provided by the sender. The announcement of the licensing of foreign banks comes just six weeks after President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud took office following elections and a long political crisis. President Mohamud has pledged to improve the economic situation and provide basic services to the population. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow, share, and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. And remember, Africa is watching.